The ANC is the reason why we have no children. Let me explain it to you. The ANC gave themselves a tender to build power stations. This tender was worth about 38 billion. Now they didn't do this as simply as you think just doing it. They tried to be a little bit sophisticated. They looked for an international company known as Itachi. They basically asked them to set up a company and they then merged with that company, Chancellor House and Hitachi, to then give themselves a tender from ESCOM to build more power stations. Doing this, they realized that we're going to have more power stations needed because the population is growing, more electricity will be needed. So they gave themselves this tender. Red flag number one. Why is a political party trying to build power stations? Political parties are not engineers. They don't have the expertise. Let's move on. What happens there afterwards is once this tender is given, everything about this tender goes wrong. There's welding that needs to be done in these power stations. It's wrong. Timelines on this, it's wrong. Costing on this, prices are inflated, it's wrong. The subcontractors, literally everything that could go wrong with this ANC Chancellor House tender that they gave themselves, it literally goes wrong. Fast forward today, we all have load shedding. There are not enough power stations that are working. Who worked on these power stations? The ANC company, Chancellor House. Now you might ask yourself, is this legal? for a political party to set up a company and give themselves tenders. They made it legal by partnering with a power company, Hitachi. They made it legal by making it a separate entity. But between you and I, is it legal? It definitely isn't. Was anybody gonna do anything about it? The public protector was told to say, investigate this tender. It was awarded incorrectly. The public protector of South Africa investigated and said that the tender was awarded irregularly, that it was a corruption tender. Do you know what happened? Nothing. Because the ANC is the majority party in South Africa and was the majority at that time. Nothing happened to them because majority rules in a democracy. They literally released statements saying, we're sorry, we'll do better next time. And that was it. Today, we're in load shedding because the ANC failed us. Now, when ESCOM realized that this company, Chancellor House, had cost ESCOM a lot of money and had not delivered on these power stations, they took the company to court. The court procedures went on and on and on. Taxpayers were paying money. And you know what happened at the end of the whole court proceedings? The ANC said, well, we're sorry. Here's 600 million for inconveniencing you all. Meanwhile, they took 38 billion and more from the tender. Today, we still have the power stations not fixed. This is what happens when a political party forgets the reason why they're in power and takes advantage of the public. The ANC has taken advantage of the people of South Africa. They will not stop unless we, the people, stand up and arise, come together and show them that this is no way to treat South Africans. Every day we suffer load shedding, jobs, young people are unemployed, people are dying in hospitals because of load shedding. We have robots that are dysfunctional. People who are trying to do international businesses like teaching English online are unable to because of load shedding. The network is a mess because of load shedding. People's schedules are messed up. It was the ANC that caused this load shedding by them being greedy. Do you want to know what they did to give themselves this tender? They put the head of fundraising for the ANC. They put him as the board chairperson of ESCOM to be able to actually get this tender awarded to them. Now, Chancellor House does not only have this tender, they have many other tenders at ESCOM. If you look into everything that's dysfunctional at ESCOM, the tender belongs to Chancellor House. 
which is owned by the ANC. The cycle continues. The cycle continues. We experience load shedding every single day. Yet the fundamental question is, how many people have you asked to register to vote? Because if you're not asking people to register to vote, then you deserve this load shedding. Because the ANC will continue to win and they'll continue to give themselves tenders at ESCOM and will continue to experience load shedding. We need to wake up and not just wake up and be woke, but wake up and take action. We need to ensure that we vote. We need to ensure that we unite under Arai South Africa and ensure that come the next elections, we vote the ANC out. We need to ensure that we share this video with as many people as possible so that South Africans understand enemy number one is the ANC government. This is the government that's causing Africa so much harm. You look at the issues that we experience on a daily basis, they continue to give themselves tenders at ESCOM. They continue to rig the tender system. They continue to blame shift. You can't even arrest anybody at Chancellor House because those are all employees of the ANC. Even after the public protector said that it was illegal, nothing happened to date because the ANC is untouchable in this country if we don't unite and do something about it. Arise, South Africa, arise.